So I'm most familiar with your watercolors. Where is this in the context of like your work in general? Yeah. Like or this medium? Yeah. That's just a way to start. Okay. Yeah. Uh the uh the watercolor. It's uh I didn't choose to use watercolor. It's like a choice because watercolor is the easiest because I really always I was interested in painting when I was kids already. So then watercolor is there. So I didn't choose, but now I use watercolor when I want to make drawing, and also as well as I use acrylic for the paintings on cam for canvas work as well. So, so I use oil painting as like watercolor sometimes because I I like the wet uh, effect of watercolor, but I can use oil painting as like watercolor to use the effect. Actually, oil paintings are sometimes better because their colors never be, never get toned down. But acrylic does. So I chose the medium in terms of color result. But then um, the watercolor, because Asian painting is based on paper, you know, mainly paperwork, ink and paper. So, and they use, uh, you know, like. Uh, it's good for it's good for vague vague expression they 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 kind of the sense of um you know like the way of representing the space is different than the western classical painting they use the effects of the wait just like too too far now no no this is good yeah please okay then how to back to the just uh, no you were talking about um, yeah the atmospheric said, effect and the space creation effect of watercolor being different in the asian tradition as opposed to like the western yeah, tradition yes yes um and that's why you choose the medium that you use yes instance. it's also quite easiest for me because i get used to it then rather than western painting way of looking at because this is more natural for me to because empty space is not empty, so then I can, like you, you can use, I can use, um, you know, like this wet, but this blur effect. It's also like it creates space. But mm -hmm. It works on paper. If on the canvas, maybe quite different because it's really tough surface. But on paper, maybe because of a longer history, like. Okay, watercolor on paper this is like established as a way of um to say represent um image yeah does it make sense yeah, yeah that makes sense yes I, I really like that idea it's kind of um the boundaries are a little less emphasized mm -mm -mm, yeah yeah and uh that goes along with the atmosphere well Maybe uh, yeah, there's no like a uh, foreground in the background. Maybe it's more like f flat, I think, because this is not background actually. The whole surface is kind of flat and same level. Then, and then also what I like about watercolor is like you can't re-edit, pretty much. This is like connected to the calligraphy. Like that you can't um, like undo or fix the letter mm. after that. You need to complete one go. Then so really connect it to your concentration and it kind of, for me, it tells spirituality because you can't back to. It's just so dedicated. Like, like oil painting, you can you know, change it when you make mistakes. It, it, it makes more better, actually, for the oil painting rather than just finish one go. These things is more, somehow I found that, found that really spiritual. So that's why, yeah, I like it. Rather than like, as it looks, the information includes the um, light taste, watercolor drawing, huh? has more information than as it looks. Mm -hmm. So including like, the invisible spirituality. I like what you said about that. It, I, for me, that's why I use it in the same way. I, mm. I haven't used it for as long as you have. Yeah. But it, and I never thought about this, but 
encoded in the watercolor is the method in which you used it. Mm. Whereas, like, with an oil painting, so much can be hidden. So much of the process can be hidden. Mm, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So it contains that information mm. as well, like you were talking about. Mm, you yeah. called it spirituality. For me, I call it, like, it's more poetic. Mm. But it's mm. just different words. No, I maybe I just, uh, I just pick the words. It's, like, kind of... Uh, instance so maybe I might change the word just like just comes out so. right right yeah yeah um cool yeah and I don't against the oil painting or western classical painting just mm. different mm -hmm. yeah, different characters yeah. yeah I agree um the other day we we're talking about the difference in perspective uh yeah really interesting yes I'm really really interested in yes I want you to talk about that stuff in yes, I uh, work as possible. Yes, uh, um, I was a bit struggling from um, making a painting with lots of different times, scale, and size in one painting. But I found it really hard. Why it doesn't work really well? It's like, but then I watched the video of Rose Wheely, that's the paint British female painter. And because her artwork is so much radical, and how well, how can she be recognized as a British female painter in the art history context? Mm -hmm. Then I started researching about her. So then she, in the video on the YouTube, she had an interview with creator from some other museum. Then she said she's interested in medieval time painting. Mm -hmm and pre renaissance painting because like maybe the perspective is reverse then oh wow then i was so interested in then i just then i read then i watched what so then yeah then i did oh, then i watched david hockney's lecture on youtube and he also made a lot of series about reverse perspective like a van gogh or chair it's painted like with opposite way because calling him like he said reverse perspective is it was used before pre renaissance before the one vanishing point mm -hmm. perspective invented for example this mm -hmm. is normally that that lines uh, will be narrower as you it be you know the far mm -hmm. in the distance but in reverse perspective it's becoming wider like this but that the function is for drawing audience inside painting than fixed uh, make the audience fixed in the one point to look at painting so this is a bit more like for me like a bit more mm, just a for entertainment for me when I look at painting with reverse perspective. We even like it looks like childish, but you can't. Sorry, as then one vanishing pa point painting, you can look at painting in just one at one glance that you can see actually kind of view and you understand what's going on pretty much but the painting with reverse perspective you need to can't you can't um look ma many everything at one glance you need to look quite carefully like you need to start looking at the camera then kind of you might find something something next to the camera then when you can't you can't just traveling around yourself in sun painting mm. and you feel like oh yeah yeah I'm in the I'm in the castle or just I'm exploring inside that's more really exciting yeah for me then yeah yeah reverse I yeah. uh I don't know if I came to any conclusions about it but I was thinking about perspective some time ago and I was trying to see if the squares mm. in Europe yeah. you know they have big plazas but it'll be in like an urban environment, mm. right? And I thought 
One Point Perspective came about because mm. an artist was in this plaza, mm. and you see, a, mm. first of all, a flatness that you yeah. don't see anywhere else. Mm. Even if you look in the like yeah. outside, there's nothing flat. Even these no. houses behind us, how can you tell there's One Point yes, Perspective? Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. Like, you wouldn't be able to. No. So I thought maybe... In like an urban environment mm. where the city mm. had a plaza and then yeah. had a grid, yeah, an actual yeah. grid on the ground, and then only then could someone come up with this perspective where it was mm. like, "Oh, I'm I'm here, mm. and I'm I'm what's important, mm. my yeah. perspective." Mm. But no, maybe... no, but I think so. It's really connected to architecture idea, yeah, because one perspective means th- there are multiple perspectives as well. You you can add more. It's not like you can add. Like mm. lots of perspectives in the one painting, mm. so then that, I think it's that one vanishing from perspective is really connected to the philosophy. You know, yeah, you were really important. You were the center, in the center of the world. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's just it's quite hard to hard to look at the landscape with that one vanishing. Like looking because at because your eyes is moving all the time. So. Well, yeah, yeah, not just that, but like, like thinking about um, landscape drawings, like uh, pre-Renaissance landscape drawings. You see the little houses just mm, on top of yeah, one another. Yeah, yeah. Mm. They're not like receding out. Mm. And then there's the the farmer at the bottom. Yeah, you know, or like at the various levels. When you try to do the whole landscape, this is what it looks like. They were actually really looking. Yeah, yeah, and, I think yeah, they actually did look in and just uh, try, try to copy what they. See and looking at yeah yeah, and then I think I didn't answer the question why I'm you know, reverse perspective. Why well, I was in, interested in reverse perspective. So then I found that this is solution for my struggling to not be able to make multiple information, multiple, multiple memories or you know, image in the one painting, mm. because then I changed to I change my. No, not change. I didn't change my way of looking, but I try to. When I'm, uh, say when in the process of making painting, I first I make this painting and try to make the painting is seen in different angles, different times. But in the, it really works well. You don't need to. You don't need to worry about what this scene is set. You can add more, may, much, as much as, as possible, you know, freely. Then it, it's it's not gonna be really chaotic because I set perspective as multiple perspectives. So the, the since then as it, it just it makes me, huh? no, it it that process makes huh? it, it makes the process so easy. Then yeah. More enjoying to find the images around the world, just picked, picked mm. and just combined and just different angles. So that's that's uh, really cool how it helps you construct yeah. and, and continue mm. to add more freely. Yes, freely, yeah. So, some framework, just need yeah. framework. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. So, it helps like you're thinking with it too, to not maybe not be as rigid. No, 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 no. Um, I want to ask, I guess this ties into it, a lot of your um, paintings look like, uh, I guess in that way, a little naive or a little mm. like primitive, dreamlike. Mm. I mean, it makes sense that this method assists mm. in that. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about the, like what you choose as subjects? Uh, yeah, subject, it's kind of... I'm still working for it because I don't. Uh, maybe I pick collect image, uh, which is associated with my nostalgic or past memories, but it's not. Or it's not, hundred percent. But I just uh, simply I pick the image I seen, I saw. Then I remember that image in my head. I choose the I just uh, but it's still there must be some some uh, you know, something why I choose this image but I haven't figured it out. Mm. But I like to choose uh, in a random image from 
newspaper and I found the image. Also, I my I'm gonna start painting about this experience from this Portugal trip. Then I like this kind of shape, repetitive mm. shape, industrial shape as well. Um, not much. Don't have many specific. I just I'm not aware of how I choose image here. Yeah. If you'd like to support the making of these videos, please join our Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.